So Victor Conti says Ryan Garcia's tests have the pulsing effect. Just like John Jones. Pulsing picograms. Now it's pulsing nanograms. What's the difference between Ryan Garcia's multiple failed drug tests and John Jones's multiple failed drug tests? Let's explore it. Hey, but first, smash my like button, subscribe, share this video, and wait till the end to leave your comments, please. And yo, if you're ready to take your striking game to the next level, head on over to thefocusballs.com. Let's get into this. Salute to the mighty LDBC. So, back in the day, John, John Bones Jones has failed numerous drug tests. Actually... The first test that John Jones failed was for um, a banned substance, which was a, a estrogen blocker. And this is when he infamously cited he got it from taking dick pills, that he likes to party and, you know, he does cocaine and yeah, he likes to take um, dick pills and get his uh, dick harder and bone women back to back. Yeah, OK, so I guess some people bought it. Um, I, I bought it at the time. But John Jones, he was found with estrogen blockers and he he was pulled off the card versus Cormier. And um, they, they were accusing him of, of having uh, what is it called? Something I mean. I, I, I forgot the name of the estrogen blocker that they accused John Jones of having. But it turns out he didn't have that in his system. But. Brock Lesnar, who fought on that same card and who we all accused of being on drugs, popped dirty in a pre-fight drug test that came out after the fight. And that's why Mark Hunt sued him. But, yeah, Mark, uh, he also tested positive for an estrogen blocker. And people who are coming off steroid cycles, they typically are on estrogen blockers. That's why they're illegal. So, that's what John Jones tested positive for. Not a performance-enhancing drug. It's for a banned substance, which more than likely indicates PED use. Then he tests positive for um, oral tyrannobol. And the time that he tests positive, see, John Jones had passed all of his drug tests leading up to the day of the fight. And from the looks of it, it looks like just before the fight, John Jones threw some tyrannobol in his mouth and went to fight. And people were questioning this. Even the drug testing agents, USADA, were like, hey, this ain't on the up and up because why would he do that to himself? Because it won't have any benefit for him to just take the drug right before the fight. It's an oral thing, so it's not something that's injectable. So it looked like he put this in water and took it right before he fought. But this is not going to have any efficacious um, effects. It's not, it's not going to be effective. Um because you, you have to cycle that. You have to be taking that regularly. So it showed up in a system. And I remember at that time, I was thinking, I was young and stupid. I was thinking, man, maybe John, maybe people are just trying to sabotage John Jones. Um, what if somebody just put, uh, this is after he, he knocked out DC and became champion again. I'm like, what if somebody had just put something in his water? I really thought that because I'm like, it's oral Tyrannobol and the circumstances surrounding it, it's like, if you are on Tyrannobol, they would have caught him for it, right? They would have caught him for that. They would have caught him for Tyrannobol. But right before the fight, he tests positive for Tyrannobol. Oral Tyrannobol, meaning he just took it the day, like he just ingested it. The amount and all that time. It means he just ingested Tyrannobol. But if you are a steroid user, that's dumb. You know that this doesn't work for you. That this, that's not how it works. And if your job is to, to get a competitive advantage, this is not going to help you. It's just going to cost you your fight. If anything, this would be a placebo, which we know John Jones is known for doing. 
so they determine while it doesn't have any performance enhancing benefits because he just threw it in his body right before this fight and you have to be cycling it um yeah it's still illegal and the the, the fight was overturned and, and daniel cormier was a champion again so and john jones was out of commission but the fact of the matter is jones i i believed it i i was i was an idiot I, i'm like damn they could have just spiked his water based on the circumstance and that's possible that does happen people do spike your water so that your your stuff can come up dirty that's 100 percent possible yeah but that's but then i'm like yo a after some time pass i'm like i'm just being a conspiracy theory this it's more than likely that this dude just cheated because when you started looking at his behavior and how he how john moves you're like eh then later on he popped for a, a, a metabolite a pulsating metabolite a picogram and they were like it's the same one that he took a year ago, that he took a year ago it's still in his system what so, so he'll pulse and pico, pico pulse or whatever. And so it, it looks bad, but he's only failed two drug tests. One for a banned substance and one for a steroid. Right? Not excusing him, but that's when I, I, I had to come to the realization like, yeah, it's more than likely that this guy's on something. It's more than likely. The only way I could reconcile it and be a John Jones fan is I looked at his record. I'm like, all right, well, that guy popped, that guy popped, that guy popped, that guy popped, that guy popped. Well, he beat eight drug cheats. But it's whack for everybody else who's not on drugs if this guy's getting an unfair advantage. But no one else seems to be complaining. So, yeah, no, um, I, I think it, I think that's whack. I, I think, yeah, more than likely, that's is, is probably what he's doing. Unless I want to be a conspiracy theorist and say somebody spiked it without any proof, without any motive, without any suspect, without nothing. That's from the that's just from my heart. People be like, oh, you're a John Jones nut hugger. And I'm like, yeah, I know nut hugger. So I, unless John can give me something else, uh, bro, your reputation don't speak for that. But whatever the case. Senor Ryan, who's Ryan? Senor Ryan, he pussy. Isn't that the same situation? Except he failed two drug tests back to back, two days in a row. With John Jones, he actually passed. Mm, no. It was in and out. Wait, did he pass the post fight? I think he he failed that day, and after that, he didn't he didn't fail. So he 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 failed. No, he passed all of his tests leading up to that, and then he failed the test, and then he passed. Ryan Garcia failed two tests, two days in a row, for two different substances. One's a steroid. One's a SARM. For two things. And I rem and there are people out here defending Ryan Garcia that the Illuminati wanted to destroy him because he's out here telling the truth, because he's exposing the elite. Even though Ryan Garcia has never said anything that hasn't already been exposed on a YouTube video by Alex Jones, by the Illuminati themselves, by the Bible, by pretty much a bunch of other things. So he's not exposing it. He's just publicly speaking on it. But again, there are plenty of people who public publicly speak on this stuff. Now, if you really want to talk about it, Chris Cornell, the singer of Audio Slave, and the singer of Linkin Park, Chester Bennington, they their deaths came right after they started talking about the elites and about trafficking before the J. E. Steen thing, right? Before people were like, 
oh yeah no this trafficking stuff is real and there's really a, a pedo island this is real and there's a bunch of celebrities um those musicians were playing in haiti and they said that children were going missing and we got to end child trafficking in, in, in haiti and they blatantly said nah our government's involved in that and then they were gone then they were gone then their deaths look suspicious and it's ruled as a suicide, but all the circumstances are like, eh, no, that's not a suicide, bro. So, yeah. Yeah. No one's doing that to Ryan Garcia. Yet somehow these people believe that Senor Ryan is this savior, this, this exposer of the Illuminati. So much so that people are rallying around Ryan to protect him, to 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 be delusional to say that that the Illuminati, the powers that be, Victor Conti. Even if you don't want to go as far as the Illuminati, there's still people here running around saying that Victor Conti, Victor Conti, because he's connected to Devin Haney. So Victor Conti is an ex drug peddler. Um, there's a documentary on him, the Balco scandal. He he was the drug giver in that. He he basically got a bunch of Olympic athletes on alternative steroids and got them around the testing. And then when it all collapsed, a bunch of people went to jail. He got off. No major sports messes with him, but boxing does. And he created the snack program, which is like supplements that aren't illegal. That'll help you with your performance and all that stuff. Some say it's legal pets. And Devin Haney's been on snack. But pretty much every fighter's been on a lot of a lot of a lot of your favorites are on snack. If you say that, oh, Devin Haney's on snack, so was Ryan. So because Victor Conti created snack and Victor Conti is affiliated with Vada, with the creation of Vada, but he doesn't run Vada. Whatever. Even if he did run Vada, they're saying that Victor Conti, because he's connected. That Bill Haney paid Conti to, 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 to mess with the, the Vada stuff so that Ryan can pop dirty. So they got Ryan popping dirty. That's, that's a crazy stretch. Why does Ryan Garcia get the benefit of the doubt? I know this was a long cook, but why does Ryan Garcia get the benefit of the doubt? But John Jones doesn't. Because I stood alone. I stood alone saying that this man could have been drugged. My apologies there, I lost my train of thought. I stood alone saying that this man could have been drugged. Somebody could have spiked John Jones because they want to tear down his legacy. I was saying that. I'm like, they're just trying to tear down John Jones' legacy. And I got insulted. People were like, people were like, yeah, we we always knew John Jones was a cheat. See, we told you. We told everybody. John Jones was destroyed. John Jones had to cry publicly. He was suspended two years. He was not given the benefit of the doubt. Wynn immediately turned over. There was no B sample. Matter of fact, there was no B sample for John Jones. It Whoa, 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 whoa. Man. What about John Jones's B sample? Real talk. Hold on. John Jones B sample. Bro, so black fighters don't get B samples. Oh, hold up, hold up. John Jones B sample confirms drug tests failed from UFC 214. I might be on an anthill. Okay. That's what that is. Yeah. Okay, so there was a B sample. 
Yeah, for the DC fight, yeah, there there was a knee sample. I don't recall anyone put it like this. I don't recall John Jones saying, "Man, I don't know how." I don't recall anyone saying, "Let's wait for the B sample." So why does John Jones? Why didn't he get? Let's wait for the B sample. They did get a B sample. They did check a B sample. So I'm not going to say they didn't. But in the court of public opinion, why didn't John Jones get a fair trial of a B sample? Because right now, Ryan Garcia, mama and daddy on the Internet trying to sway public opinion in the court of public op uh, uh, opinion. Perception is king, right? So they're trying to steer the perception towards something else to be something that it's not right because they don't care they don't care if he cheated or not like they don't care they, they just want it they want to win right so my thing is what is the difference between john jones and if we're gonna if we're willing to believe that the illuminati is framing Ryan Garcia for peddling bullshit. If we are to believe that, if people are willing to take such a stretch to defend Ryan Garcia, what has Ryan Garcia done that would, would warrant? What has he done in the world of combat sports, much less boxing, to warrant that? What has he done to warrant such a defense that we do not afford to John Jones? I'd like an honest answer in the comment sections. Uh, uh. Yeah. So what is John Jones? See, John Jones was always a villain from the jump. I remember people wanting to hate John Jones when he was playing the good guy, Jesus. See, John Jones got, got Bible verses on his chest. John Jones is a lot like Ryan Garcia. They're two they're both fighters, that's one. They both uh represent Jesus hard. They play up the Jesus role really hard. Um, they both failed drug tests. When John Jones spoke about Jesus, they were like, eh, fake Bible verses. When look at him, look at his behavior. The, the only people I see really saying, look, Ryan Garcia over here, fake Christian. Look at, look at his behavior, touting Christianity every second, but. Yeah, he'll, he'll praise Jesus one minute and then with the same breath, you know, do some, do some, he do some on whatever, whatever. I'm not here to judge nobody, but I see some people saying that, but those are like, those are people already in the circle. I don't see anybody else besides the down ass brothers who say that only the trill people that, that, that say that, like, but I guess if, if you're saying that you are trill, but whatever the case, oh, damn it. Ooh, that while I'm driving, baby. Um, so yeah, John Jones. If you're a combat sports fan, and you had to give a fighter the benefit of the doubt, like man, I don't want to believe this guy was on drugs the whole time. You want it to be Ryan Garcia, like fans of running. What is it? Land, or cycling? If you're a fan of like cycling or or whatnot, if you from the same country, was Lance Armstrong American or was he French or something? Wherever, where, if you're from the same country as Lance Armstrong, you want him to succeed. You don't want him to be a drug cheat, right? You don't want him to be a drug cheat. If you could like undo any cyclist. 
being a drug cheat and still do those things or, or like wish that the drug test wasn't if you're going to cap for, for 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 someone's drug test what fighter would that be right wouldn't you want john jones to be the clean guy because that story is more interesting john jones has been dominant his entire career and he's clean versus ryan garcia he's been an, a slacker and an underachiever his entire career and then all of a sudden achieves greatness yeah drugs that makes sense you see that narrative but the reality is they hate him because of something else oh. they hate him because of something else and they like ryan because of something else so the reasoning comes after but y'all let me know what the other uh, difference is. I and I were on a done smash my like button. Peace.